Hello everybody, welcome back to Watch Time once again. As you see by the title and the box in front of me, I'm going to be talking about Rolex today. It seems a very fitting time to talk about Rolex because as of now and as of the last year at least, if not more, this brand has become extremely limited. Right now, in November, 1st of November 2021, in the UK, all Rolex models are um, list, so you have to go on a list to get them. So that includes date justs, it includes Cellini's, everything. So the brand is extremely limited at the moment. Probably about a year ago it was only sports watches, but now it's everything. So this brand is going more and more crazy, not less. So I'm lucky enough to have two in my own personal collection. I can just get the lid off. And by the way, this box was um, given to me by a family member who had extra links added to their bracelet and they came in this. So this is my Rolex collection here. Some of you may have seen, oh, never mind. Some of you may have seen this model here before. Obviously it's very, very grubby there at the moment, so I'll give it a, a wipe over. And, uh, yeah, this is um, an Oyster Perpetual, mid-size. As you can see by the scratches and um, obvious signs of wear, it, it does get worn. Um, it's a watch that gets used. It's went up a lot in value. I bought it in 2018. Uh, and it's gone up in value massively since I bought it. So I, I am a lot more careful with it now than I used to be, which is kind of sad in a way. But yeah. That's the first Rolex piece I have. This is the main point of the video, this one here. Now, you'll probably see straight away this looks very different to the Oyster Perpetual, this one here. And that it's quite clearly a dress watch. It's not a sports watch in today's standards anyway. So, this is a watch I bought quite recently. I paid a really good price for it, a really fair price. I'm going to talk about some of the specification quickly. So this watch was made in 1946. It's a manual wind watch. Uh, it has a domed uh, plexiglass or acrylic crystal. It's very thin. Crystal actually is almost as thick as the cases. The lugs are really unusual. Um, the specific the measurements of the face, I'm not entirely sure. I'd say it's probably about a 30, 31. So it's quite a small piece. Interestingly, on this Rolex, the back of the case is signed with a Rolex crown which you can just about make out there just underneath the crown itself slightly unusual usually Rolex cases are blank at the back but this one is obviously really quite old so it has a really nice sort of manual wind sort of sound which is very an unusual concept to people who don't really care about stuff like that but for anybody who does really really crunchy um strong strong feeling um the case can be as with any watch of this style using this here can be opened but i actually don't want to open it um 
which I'm oh, sorry if that is a bit disappointing, but I'm not going to open it, I'm afraid. Um, I got this from a certified jeweler, and I got it for a really good price. I did haggle on it, um, but I got it for a really good price. I mean, I'm not going to go into the specifics of the price, but it's it, for anybody who wants a really kind of high-end, affordable watch. On a budget, this would be a really good option if you were to find something else like this. It was between £1,000 and £2,000, basically. <clears throat> I don't want to go into the price, basically, because the price is, is not the point. The, the watch is the point. And I think it, it really does have a, have a beauty about it. It's very uh, simplistic. Uh, stainless steel case, by the way. And time only. With the seconds there taken away, which look great as well. Two Arabics. And the rest are these really nice sort of Art Deco-ish um, battens, maybe. Some are battens, some are diamonds, triangles. Really, really nice and quite, um, quite a flair for Rolex. But bear in mind, this was 1946. So things were a bit different then for Rolex. So when I bought this watch, it did come with its paperwork and it had had a service, which was great. So I just knew it was in good work and order and it's kept really good time ever since. Um, it's not a watch I wear every day, but I have to wear it at least a few days a week. And I just wanted to show on this channel because I just think it's a watch you don't really see. You don't really see anything like this. When you see Rolex watches, you tend to see steel sports, sometimes presidents, occasionally Cellinis, but really this is the first time I've ever seen a watch like this by Rolex. And if anybody else has one, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear about your watch. At the moment, it's fitted on a Hirsch strap. That was the only drawback. It didn't come on its original strap, but or a Rolex strap, I should say. It is on a Hirsch buckle as well. And I would consider getting a Rolex buckle, but there are so, so many fakes on the internet that it's a very risky move. So for now, this will do, and I think it goes quite well with the watch. Hirsch do make some nice straps, I think. 18 mil lug width there, as you can see. So yeah, just really, really surprised what you can get for the money if you look around. I'm going to put the watch on so you can see it here. As I mentioned before, it is small, but um, it's, it's, it's wearable. It's wearable. It's not too bad. Um, as you can see there, it's very much of its time in terms of size, but unisex and seems to look pretty good I think so I'll just put the camera back there yeah really nice I think really nice but do let me know what you think and as I mentioned before if anybody else has anything similar to this I would love to hear about it because don't really seem to be many discussions about vintage Rolexes like this you see the hands catch the light there really nice i don't know exactly what metal that is if anyone else does let me know i'm hesitant to say that it's gold but it's gold colored really really nice it'd be nice to imagine rolex making something like this again wouldn't it nice onion crown there well i don't know if it is an onion actually it's kind of almost at that point but it's is very accessible that's maybe the right word so yeah that is about it i just wanted to show you all see if i can start some discussion i really do appreciate you all watching these videos and if you get the chance to subscribe that would be great but hopefully you've seen something you don't normally see you don't usually see i should say and let me know what you think below and i will see you next time